Okay. So this video is about the body terms, the terms of location. So we're starting really with, um, let's start with medial, okay? So if we have something medial, what we need to look for is, what is the opposite of medial? Lateral. Lateral, okay? So we have here the sternum or the, uh, the chest bone and the arm, which is lateral, yeah? Good. If we have anterior, what we look for? Front. Front. And the, and the opposite is? Posterior. Posterior. So we need to look somewhere in the back, yeah? Okay. Now, there is a specific terms in terms of anterior and posterior for the torso. Now, the question is, what is the torso? Is that the same? Yes. So where is the, where did it start? Where does it end? It starts from the shoulders, from the shoulders and hand in the hip. And in, yeah? Yeah. in the hip. So we have the um, dorsal. Dorsal is the back of the torso. And we're supposed to have here ventral somewhere. Maybe it doesn't have. Oh, oh ventral. Ventral is supposed to be here. Okay? In front of the of the of the body itself. Yeah? Okay. Then we are going to have superior, which is above, and what we're looking for? Inferior. 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 Um, you, take, you took it off. Oh, I took it off. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So inferior would be below, yeah? yeah? Now, even if you do that, that's still kind of inferior and superior <coughs> because we are in an, an anatomical position. We used it, we did, um, we did it on the jaw, inferior and superior. That's fine. Oh, here it is. No, it's still here. Yeah. So, which one is the inferior jaw? Lower, lower. Yeah. Which one moves? The inferior jaw or the superior jaw? Inferior. 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 Okay. okay. Good. External. Outside. Good. So, outside and internal. Inside. For example, what is more internal? The heart or the ribs? The heart. heart. The heart is internal. Yeah? Good. Deep and... Superficial, <laughs> um, same as uh, same, same as internal and external. Yeah, I'm not sure where is superficial. I've oh, got it on the shin. On the shin, because it's closest to the, the shin. On the shin bone. On the shin bone. Okay. Okay. So when we have deep and superficial, try to have it on the same area. But you can do it in a different area as well, yeah? So try to compare like to like, yeah? On the same area. Um, what are we doing here? Proximal and what's the opposite of proximal? Distal. Distal, away. away. So distal would be here, right? So the proximal was hip, the distal is the knee, and further distal from the knee would be the ankle. The ankle, yeah? Toes, yeah? Good. Yeah? Okay, cool. Um, in the palm, we have two surfaces. We have the squishy surface and we have the hard surface. <coughs> the hard surface called the dorsal and the front called the palmar. <coughs> the palm. Okay? In the feet, in the foot, we have something sim similar. We have the dorsal surface when it's hard. So the dorsal is always when it's hard. And then here we have the plantar surface. How can you remember it? Like you're planting your feet on the, on the ground. <coughs> Supine is the front of the forearm and prone is the back, and I think we finished beside, what's that? Oh, plantar surface, okay. Well done, you, yeah? Wait, so, wait, how... Supine. <coughs> what's the supine? Supine also when you're sitting, when you're lying down, right? Yeah. You're lying supine facing up, or prone facing down. Okay. Yeah? How much do we use these? A little bit. You will get to know this language where we go, so... Uh, don't worry about it. You don't have to. Maybe you need to revise a few times at home, and we'll mm -hmm. continue. Okay? Good. So I'll give you 